think for all of us, the word Advent and the word Christmas are pretty interchangeable. We're coming to the Christmas season, we're coming to the Advent season, we know what we mean. But that actually hasn't always been the case. From the time of the church to the late Roman Empire, the word Adventus, Advent, meant the arrival of the emperor. It was the annual celebration for the emperor arriving to Rome and it was a time of great celebration. So the word Advent was about the arrival of a king or an emperor. And so the early church caught on to this. And so the word Advent in Greek is parousia. And the word parousia also means the arrival. But in later theology, it began to mean the return of Christ to sweep up the church toward himself and into the heavens. So it was more of a departure than an arrival. So it was only at the time of the Middle Ages that the Advent or Adventus actually began to mean the Christmas event, the Christ event at Bethlehem. Before that, it was either used to talk about the Epiphany, the arrival of Christ as a grown man toward the baptism and his revelation to his disciples, or it was concerning his eventual return, his eschatological return. So our use of the word Advent is a more modern development in the Christian lexicon, but I think it is well worth remembering its original roots. Even this morning I was reading in 1 Corinthians 15 about our Lord in his resurrection power, his glorious imperishable resurrection body, which he will eventually share with us and that we will receive whatever he has we get. And we're told by Paul that that is our promised inheritance. So for me then, I think it's really helpful and challenging and theologically important for Christmas, or rather for Advent, to have this dual meaning. Not only does it speak to us of the arrival of the Logos in human form in Bethlehem in the Christ child, but it also the Advent also speaks to us of the arrival or the Advent of the King eschatologically to return to his good earth and to share the graces of his resurrection body and the power therein with creation and humanity. And so it, it adds this new dimension, doesn't it? So instead of Christmas just a being about nostalgically looking back to Bethlehem, it can also be expectantly looking forward to the return of Christ, uh, where he comes to set all things to rights. And the glory of God, we're told, will cover the earth as the waters, the seas. So it reinforces the, the strength of God's work throughout history, not just in the past, but also the promised future. And we find ourselves somewhere in the in-between right now, in the overlap of the what was and what will be, being in this place now where we live by faith. We trust that the story of the Christ child in Bethlehem is true and we trust that his promises will be kept upon his awaited return. Both of them are the Adventus, the Adventus of our Lord, past and future, but also promised to us he, would, he will advent himself with us by his spirit even in the present. So we are surrounded and kept even in the in-between. So a little bit of food for thought then as we proceed into the Christmas Advent season and participate in that together. Till next time, peace.